Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you um, how to solve pH questions without a calculator because commonly in the UTME, you won't be given a calculator that has log. Remember, the formula we have for pH that we saw earlier involved the use of logarithm tables or logarithm on a calculator, but most times you don't have that available, so I'm going to show you what to do under such circumstances using those five questions. But for now, there's another question here that is in two parts. It says, given the pH of a solution as 5.7, determine its first hydrogen ion concentration and then second hydroxyl ion concentration. Now, it's a very simple question, but here's what we need to learn. First, from formula, we said pH equals negative logarithm to base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration. Now, we were given the hydrogen ion concentration and required to calculate pH. Okay, so we were given pH and asked to calculate hydrogen ion concentration. So it means we are going to make hydrogen ion concentration the subject of the formula. So I'm going to write H plus equals the antilog of negative pH. This is one way of writing it. But in the alternative, I could write H plus equals 10 raised to power negative pH. Both expressions are actually the same. So bringing the pH in immediately, I would say H plus concentration equals 10 raised to power negative 5.7. If you do this with a calculator, you are going to get your H plus as 2.0 times 10 raised to power minus 6 approximately. So the H plus is 2.0 times 10 raised to power negative 6. Now, having gotten H+, plus, which means having answered question 1, there's question 2 left, which talks about the OH- minus concentration. And from our previous formula, that's in a previous video now, if you've not watched the previous videos on pH, please do. We said in a previous formula that OH- minus concentration times H+, plus concentration will give us 10 raised to the power negative 14. So it means that OH minus concentration becomes 10 raised to the power negative 14 over H plus concentration. So that OH minus concentration becomes, if you like, 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 14 over 2.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. This is as good as writing OH minus equals 10 times 10 raised to the power negative 15 over 2.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. These two are the same. So that my OH minus concentration becomes 10 divided to 5.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 15 plus 6 negative 9 molar. So that's my OH minus. I've got the H plus and then I got the OH minus. But a quick question. What if this question did not require H plus? Like it went straight from pH to OH minus. How would we have solved it? Very simple. Look at this. See what we have here. There's a direct relationship between pH and H plus, which is this formula. And there's a similar direct relationship between pOH and OH minus, which is this other formula we saw, pOH equals negative logarithm to the extent of OH minus. However, there is no direct formula linking pH and OH minus or pOH and H plus. So if this question had been this way, calculate pH, or you are given pH and you are required to calculate OH minus, because there is no direct link, you would have had two options, which would have been calculate H plus first 
and from that h plus get your oh minus which is exactly what we did because we had this question but assuming this question were not there like i said we still would have had to come this way then connect oh minus or from ph would have gone to poh then from poh we connect oh minus let me show you how that would have worked using this space Assuming we were to go through POH, that is going through root 2 now, I would have said first, POH equals 14 minus PH. So that means POH will be equal to 14 minus 5.7, and that is how many now? 8.3. So our POH would have been 8 and 8.3, so that means we could write now POH equals negative logarithm of OH minus concentration but it's OH minus we are looking for so we say OH minus concentration equals anti-log of negative POH so OH minus concentration becomes the anti-log of negative 8.3 if you do this on your calculator, you get your OH minus as the same value we got before, 5.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 9 molar. So it's easy. If you get such a question, remember that you could go through this route or go through that route. The same applies when you are given POH and required to calculate H plus or given H plus and required to calculate POH. Just remember how they link. Remember that there are no direct links between these or those. Now, leaving this question as it is, see those five. Like I said, we are required to calculate pH in those five situations. We've been given H plus, we want to calculate pH. What I'm going to do here is exactly the same thing I would have done if we had been given OH minus and required to calculate POH. But for now, what we have is H plus and what we are required to calculate is pH. So how do I go about those? There are five of them. See what I'll do. Looking at the H plus given to me, everything is in standard form. So I could come down here to say, given H plus, equals 8 times 10 raised to the power negative n, then pH becomes n minus log a. What do we mean? If you compare this expression to all of these ones, you'd see that a in these five cases would be 1.0, 1.0, 2.0, 5.0, 0.04 for now then your n would be 2, not minus 2, because this is minus n, so minus 2, and that means n is 2. Here n is 11, then 5, then 9, and so on. So going by that, if I were to calculate pH in this first case, I'll simply say pH equals n2 minus log 1. So that pH becomes 2 minus log 1 is known to be 0. So my answer is 2. If you apply the formula to the second case, you'd say pH equals 11 minus log 1. So that pH equals 11 minus 0, and that's 11. Here's a simple trick. Anytime the value of A, this A in your H+, plus, is exactly 1, you won't need to solve at all. Just take n as your answer. So this is n. You see, in the first case, we got 2, and in the second case, we got 11. But that will not work for cases where this is not 1, like these three cases now. What we have as a is no longer 1, and that means our answer would no longer be 5 or 9. So what would our answers be? Well, in cases where you have standard form for your H+, plus and you need your pH, and this A is not 1, then know that your answer will be between 
the number you are seeing here and the normal, normal number that comes before it. There's a number that will normally come before this number. Like in this case, 5. What number comes before 5? 4. So it means that our answer to this question will be 4 point something. The number before 5 is 4. So 4 point. The number before 9 is 8. So 8 point. That's the answer we'll get there. Then for this last one, the trick is this is not standard form. If you were to bring this to standard form, it would have been 4 times 10 raised to power minus 6. So if you look at this in standard form now, you would agree that for this last one, the answer would be 5 points. The essence of knowing this is that sometimes you are given options that are spread out. For example, for this question 3, you may see options like 1.2, 2.3, 4.6, 5.7, 4.7. In that case, there's only one 4 point and it should be picked because we know the answer will definitely be 4 point. It saves some time for you. But of course, if all the options are 4 points, then you would need to solve like I'm going to do now. So in this third case, I'm going to say pH equals 5 minus log 2. So pH equals 5 minus, what is log 2? Log 2 is popular, 0 0.3. So that means pH equals 4.7. That's my answer to that one. Then this next one, this next one is um, pH equals 9 minus log 5. So this should be equal to 9 minus log 5 is 0 0.7 and that means the answer to this is 8.3 then finally ph equals 6 minus log 4 so ph equals 6 minus 0 0.6 and that's 0 0.4 oh, sorry 5.4 like we already said 5.4 now, having solved all of these, having solved all five questions, the only thing that I expect that you still have in mind as a question would be, how did you know the log of two? How did you know log five? How did you know log four? Yeah, talking about me now. I got to know them based on the fact that there is a popular list of logs that are very common. And when you have those logs, usually you can get others from them. For example, we know that log 2 is 0 0.3 and that log 3 is 0 0.4771. This 3010, if you mind. Then we have log 5, it is 0 0.6990. So usually we write this as 0 0.3 and this as 0 0.7 which is what you see in my working. Then the last one is log 7. Log 7 is 0 0.8451. So with these four logs, usually you can get most of the others. Like in this last question, I had log 4. Log 4 was not part of my list. Yeah, it's not part of this list now. So what I did was log 4 equals log 2 squared. So that log 4 becomes 2 log 2 and then log 4 becomes 2 times we said before that log 2 can be taken as 0 0.3 so that means that log 4 equals 0 0.6 so even though log 4 is not on this list I was able to get it from my knowledge of logarithms so remember <coughs> when your a is 1 n becomes your answer when a is not one that is greater than one now but less than 10 then you expect that your answer would be the number before this number point something then in that case you may have options that are spread out so that you don't even need to write anything but if the options are not spread out, if everything is within 4.4 point or 8 point, 8 point, then here's a formula you could easily use. So that's the much we'll take on pH. Do well to study more questions on your own. And then don't forget, most importantly, to like this channel so that when there are new videos, you'll get an alert. Thank you.